Okay, are you ready for the fall? Because I am. I am so over the summer. I needed to go away. So I decided to do a video that talks about the fall. The fall this year starts September 21st. And I know that this video is going to come out before then. And I am so ready for the fall. Hello everyone and welcome to my fragrance review channel. Uh, my name is Claudia Nari and on here we talk about various things that are in my collection. I love to share my thoughts on scents that are hitting the market, whether it's designer scents, niche scents. Uh, I even talk about body products. I love to do fragrance layering. So if any of these things sound interesting to you, this is the channel for you. In today's uh, video, we're going to discuss my top five head turner fragrances for the fall. I'm going to overview the fragrance, kind of tell you about it, tell you the nose. I'll tell you what people are saying about it, even what I think about it, right? And I'll group them together, if possible, to who I think that it will work best for. So without any further ado, the, my only request is that you subscribe. If you enjoy this video, turn on your notifications so that way you don't miss any video that I come out with. Let's dive deep into my top five head turner fall fragrances. Stay tuned. My very first one, I'm going to do them based on, uh, I'll say most affordable to uh, expensive but worth the price right? So that is the order that we're going to go in. So my very first one is uh, one that I found at TJ Maxx. And I have been in love with this fragrance since it came out, I want to say in 20, 2012. It is Stash by Sarah Jessica Parker. And oh, I love this fragrance uh with stash when she came out with it, it was supposed to be it's supposed to implement her signature scent right so it's supposed to have been soft and elegant and floral um very playful in character not too much going on but just a really beautiful fragrance um I truly believe that this is best in cooler weather, like in the fall or in the winter, because the fruity nuance that's included, that's inside of this fragrance beautifully, does beautifully in the wind, right? It just moves all through the air. You can wear this during the day. You can wear this in the evening. This is a good one to get. The notes in it is bergamot, pink pepper, jasmine, rose, uh, orchid fruit, amber, sandalwood, and musk. I mean, the bottle is nice. Now, I will admit to this. This could be a little hard to find because it is currently discontinued. Uh, but like I said, go to TJ Maxx, go to Marshalls, go to one of those big box stores. They are bound to have this, right? Um... Oh, I just love it. I love everything. Like the plum in it is good. The pink pepper is not too spicy. This was a good, a really, really good fragrance. And I hate that they discontinued it. Um, I want to say I was able to get this at TJ Maxx for like $40 or $50. Uh, now there, once all of the fragrant people start talking about it, of course, you know, the price may go up. So don't hold me to that. But if I can find it at a reasonable price, you know that I'm going to link this in the bottom. Stash by Sarah Jessica Park. This one is Amber Absolute. I love, love, love this one. I even have a video where I individually talked about this fragrance. This has been one of my go-tos every time the fall season starts. I get so many compliments with this fragrance because it's so unique. It's so well put together. 
Amber, absolutely, right? So this came out in 2017. Uh, it was in this, like this large, uh, longer black bottle, and then they repackaged it to this one here. And I really do enjoy this this packaging. I, like I said, I am a package fanatic. Uh, it was by Fort and Manly when they used to be combined. They have uh, hence they have now separated, but this is when they were combined as a company. And they pride themselves on using raw materials in their fragrances. Uh, this one here was no different. The notes in it is plum, black currant, uh, rose, um, amber, benzoin, latamin, vetiver, a musk, and cedar. One of the things that make this fragrance so unique is that they've taken three different types of Lebanon's amber oils and they blended it together. This is a fragrance that was supposed to have the light, the middle, and the dark aspects of amber. It's highlighted to have nothing but amber facets all throughout this fragrance, and then they give you a touch of other notes that would enhance it. This fragrance is supposed to be smooth and rich and very spicy on the base, right? It's a complicated fragrance, but yet it's complimenting, right? This is such a fragrance that when you wear this, people know that it's you, right? It's not your typical uh, trendy fragrance that you would have on that everybody would be wearing, right? Have you ever heard of this saying that's called moth to a flame? right? So Moth to a Flame, the saying basically says that, you know, you're so in, 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 engulfed with somebody, you're so enthralled with them, that aroma is so intoxicating. It's, uh, it's golden and it's honey and it's, it's pulling you in, right? So that's what I feel when I'm wearing. I feel like I'm pulling people in to me. The amber tones is real crisp and honey note and syrupy almost, right? And then that's all on the top of the fragrance and then it begins to just settle into your skin and become one of the ones that this could truly be a signature scent i don't currently have a signature scent but this could be a signature scent where people can remember you from how you smell again another one of those unisex fragrances this is not just for women this is not just for men it was a fragrance that crossed all boundaries amber absolutely i truly enjoyed this one my next one is going to be the hob the hob by kajal the uh, hob means gold right so this is supposed to be like a a luxurious garmon like fragrance very delicious with a bit of spiciness in the top notes, right? And then it sits on top of this gorgeous amber and reason note. I truly do think that this is the best. Every time I seem to wear this, and I know this is one of my husband's favorites, it's always like, oh, you smell so good, right? It's like really cozy. It's really um, elegant, the notes in it is saffron, cinnamon, frankincense, amber, and spices, right? So the notes are meant to bring like uh, forth this mindset of a rich individual. Uh, you get like the aromas of Arabic cuisines, uh, like being in the market. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. It it plays uh, like these games with your senses. I would admit that this is one that you have to like spicy fragrances. You have to like something spicier, something warm. Uh, this is not for the, frank, the faint of heart, right? You cannot get this one here and not want to command the room, not want to walk in and leave your presence. The hob is is just pure elegance in a bottle from the way the bottle looks to how they organized it this is a good unisex fragrance i think that both men and women can pull this fragrance off in the fall and the winter now mind you i'm giving you my top head turners for the fall but you can wear these fragrance any time that you want do not think that i'm saying this is only for the fall 
this is when I'm most interested in wearing this fragrance, the Hob. Now, let me first start off with Amarash is not a fragrance house you could just blind buy. <laughs> there is not too many Amarash fragrances that I that I truly do enjoy. I think I might have all of three fragrances from the whole line because they're so complicated. They're so beautifully done. But yet they use notes that could be just not exactly um, trend friendly, right? People might not just want to jump into these fragrances. But this one I'm about to tell you about is one that I think that everybody would enjoy. And that is Crimson Rock. Crimson Rock by Amirage is a part of their lyric collection line for the women. It's deep. It's spicy, it's inspired by the spices, the cuisine, like incense, that's, um, incense that are found like in a mosque. Again, Amirage is not one of those typical quickly put together fragrances. You have to really dive deep into Amirage. And Crimson Rock is warm, like the scent just makes you feel cozy, it's warm. It's very heavy on rinsings, it has this nutty, cardamom note to it um a lot of warm ambers a lot of cozy almost like sweater weather type fragrances right um and beneath all of this aroma this spices this amber you're going to get this myrrh and oud now oud in this fragrance is what makes me believe that this is one that i believe people should try first do not blind buy this I am not, I'm telling you, it's one of my top uh, five head turners, but don't you run out there and blind by this, right? Use scent split and get this, get this fragrance and try it out on your skin. I do truly believe that once you get it, if you're into like a spicier, uh, heavier oud based fragrance, Crimson Rock. Uh, is considered a masterpiece, actually, by many people. Many people uh, believe how complex it is and how well he put together it was. It just amplifies the a high-level, high-end fragrance. And I truly believe that they are correct. But you have to like spices. Crimson Rocks. Now, this is my last uh, one of my head turners. Uh, in this La Capital right is i i had to have it like i had to ha have this in my collection i had to have it in my list right this is such a beautiful fragrance i love the georgia uh packaging uh as you see probably behind me i have a lot of georgia Alps. i really do enjoy this uh this is such a gorgeous opulent gourmand laced fragrance right so the purpose of la capital was it was supposed to give you the theme of traveling uh it's supposed to have this this indignant uh aroma that was meant to represent the richness of rome and i get that i get that um you have to think of like tiramisu think of desserts like biscotti and or like being in an Italian cafe. That's Le Capital. Le Capital includes tonka bean, coffee, honey, praline, bourbon vanilla, benzoin, chestnut, and like this beautiful white wood, like a sienna wood. Just absolutely gorgeous. If I had to review this for someone, and I don't know that I've done a video on Le Capital, but if I have, I'll make sure that I list it in the top. I would say that it's a sweet gourmand. It's a sweet gourmand fragrance that has coffee and praline and chestnut. But it's a it's not the childish gourmand. It's not the foody gourmand. This is like sexy sweet skin. This is in it's smooth. Like all the notes in it are smoothly blended. It's very elegant. It's very cozy. It's it's an ideal cold or cool weather fragrance. Uh, I find myself a lot of times wearing La Capital when I want to be sexy, 
but yet clothed. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. Like a big fuzzy sweater with some uh, wide leg jeans and my and my my boots on. And I just walk past someone and it's just a breeze, a pure, good gourmandness. I love, I love Le Capital. Like I had to put it in this collection. I had to try it. This is another one of them. Try it out. And I think that you're going to fall in love with it. All right. Thank you for watching my video. I have put together my top five head turners for the fall fragrance, fragrances that are head turners for the fall. But I would love to know what do you think? Did I hit it? Did I get all the five that you would have thought of? Did I miss any? Come on, in the comments, tell me about the ones. If you had to uh, choose your top five head turner fragrances, what would you choose? What would you choose? I would love to see a video. Put a video out, tag me in the video, uh, and let me know what do you think. It's a challenge. I'm giving you a challenge. If you have a YouTube uh, channel and you're into fragrances, post a video and tell me what would be your top five head turner fragrances for the fall or the winter or cool weather. I am so ready for the fall. I am so ready for the fall. Take the ones that I have listed. All I ask is that you sniff them, try them out, go to the department store, see if you can get a, a sample of them, try them out and then let me know what do you think. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching it. I hope you have subscribed and turn on your notifications so that you do not miss any future videos that I put out. Remember, share this video. Leave a comment because I want to know what do you think. And on that note, I bid you a wonderful night.